everyone this is Ekalpana here so in this video we are going to see a problem from comb that is from mensuration okay problem a sector containing an angle of 120 degrees is cut off from a circle of radius 21 centimeter and folded into a cone find the curved surface area of the cone okay so here a sector containing an angle of 120 degrees is cut off from a circle of radius 21 centimeter solution firstly consider a circle with radius l equals to 21 centimeters okay so a sector of an angle 120 degrees is cut off from the circle of radius 21. So, this is a circle with radius 21. From this circle, we are going to remove a sector of angle 120 degrees. Okay. Now, we are going to remove this sector. Of angle 120 degrees and slant height not slant height this is the radius of the sector 21 centimeter now if we fold this sector it is transformed to a cone right so the length not length Radius of the sector becomes slant height of the cone. Okay. So here we have to find the curved surface area of the cone. Okay. Given. Sector of an angle 120 degrees with radius 21 centimeters. Okay. We know that curved surface area of a cone is given by pi r l square units right since we are having the value of l but to find the curved surface area, we need to find the value of radius, which is unknown. Okay. So, using the angle of sector and the radius L, we are going to find the value of the radius. And we know that. We know that the circumference of the base of the cone equals to length of the arc. That is 2 pi r equals to theta by 360 degrees into 2 pi l. Okay.
we have theta equals to 120 degrees and L equals to 21 centimeters. L is radius of sector or radius of circle which is given, right? Okay. So, in this, L is nothing but radius of sector which is taken from the circuit. Fine. Now let us consider this formula. 2 pi r equals to theta by 360 degrees into 2 pi l. From this, 2 2 gets cancelled, pi pi gets cancelled. Then you'll have r equals to theta by 360 degrees into l. So now you can substitute theta value. That is 120 degrees by 360 degrees into L. Okay. And we are having L equals to 21 centimeters. So substitute L equals to 21 centimeters. Okay. 0, 0 gets cancelled. 6, 2s are 12. 6, 6s are 36. 2, 1s are 2. 2, 3s are 6. And 3, 7s are 21. So, you will get R equals to 7 centimeters. Therefore, R equals to 7 centimeters. Okay. So, you are having R equals to 7 centimeters. Fine. So, the radius of the sector becomes the slant height when you fold these two edges. Right? If you fold these two, you will get a cone and that radius is transformed to slant height L, which is equal to 21 centimeters. Now, we are going to consider formula of curved surface area of the cone, which is equal to pi RL square units. Now, we are having the radius and slant height value, right? Since slant height of the cone equals to radius of the sector. Therefore, L equals to 21 centimeters. Okay. This L is transformed to slant height and arc length is transformed to circular base. Fine. So this equals to 22 by 7 into radius 7 centimeters into slant height 21 centimeters. 7, 7 gets cancelled and this is equals to 22 into 21 centimeter into centimeter centimeter square. Now multiply 22 and 21 ones are two to twos are four two four plus two six four so this equals to four hundred and sixty two centimeters square 
So therefore, curved surface area of a cone equals to 462 centimeters square. Let's come to the problem. So we have seen a problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.